Hallo Leute, welcome back to another video. I am Divi, this is Divi Learns, and today I have some exciting news. I have decided, it is not 100% confirmed yet, but I've decided to tackle the B2 German exam in January. Okay, now you're probably wondering, you know, why are you doing the B2 exam? Do you even know any German? I saw your other video, you can't even speak German, so why are you doing this? Um, well, let me tell you. So, I've been practicing German or wanting to learn German since uh, January 2016. That's when I went on exchange to Mannheim uh, for a semester abroad, and that's when it kick started. And I took an A1 course in Germany, and I've been trying to learn it ever since back in Toronto. So, it has been challenging because learning it in Toronto, it's a little bit different, difficult because I'm not in, I'm not uh, immersed in the language. Uh, I'm not living in Germany, unfortunately, so it has been tough. But I think I have made pretty good progress. But now that I've decided to tackle this B2 exam, this is the time for me to actually double down, uh, get all my learning and my studying practices in check so that I can actually tackle this exam successfully in January. Now, originally my goal was to hit a level of fluency, intermediate level of German by the end of the year, which it's still my goal. But I found out that the Gotha Institute in Toronto does have uh, B2 exam available, well they have all the exams available in the new year in January. I couldn't get one in December, but I felt January is actually a better time for me, so it gives me more time to prepare so I can tackle this exam. Okay, so how am I going to go about studying for this? What am I going to do? What tips? What tools? What am I going to use? Uh, let me get to all of that, but I'll get to that in a second. I've got to cook some dinner first, so I will see you guys after I cook my dinner. Bye! Sorry, forgot uh, my sauce here. I'm actually gonna need this. All right, I'll see you guys as soon as I'm back from dinner. All right, that took way longer than expected, but I'm back and I'm gonna jump right into how I plan on studying and getting ready and preparing and learning for this B2 exam in January. Okay, so the good thing is everything is on my whiteboard right beside me. So I'll show you what that looks like. As you can see, there's nothing on there. So I haven't actually sat down to prepare exactly what I'm gonna do, but that's what I'm gonna do right now with you. Okay, so there are a few different ways that I plan on tackling my exam or how I'm gonna prepare to tackle my exam in January. And so there's a couple different ways and then there's tools to help me attack those things. So the, the four ways that I think I need to focus on, and there are probably more, but the four that I'm gonna focus on are reading, writing, audio, and video. So for reading, I'm gonna try to read uh, a little bit of German every day. So I do have a book that I could reread and then I might either purchase new books or use different apps to help me read a little bit every day. There's also writing. So I do have uh, family as well as a buddy in Germany who I met through the Tandem app. So if you haven't watched that Tandem video, make sure you watch it. Um, it's a really great app. So I have that German buddy who I do speak with uh, on a weekly basis quite often. Um, and so right now I'm just messaging through WhatsApp, but I do plan on escalating that and seeing if I can practice writing via emails. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do, but I haven't done yet, but that's another way of writing that I plan on doing. And then in terms of audio, I plan on listening to more German music, although I have a lot already. I'm gonna try to add that into my regular daily routine. So if I'm in the gym, uh, commuting to work, uh, out and about getting groceries. I want to see if I can switch more of it to audio, more, switch more of my audio to German. Uh, and also, I'd love to incorporate more podcasts. So the German podcast, I used to do, I used to listen to the German Pod 101 podcast. I haven't done that as much anymore. I probably should get back into podcasts, so I don't know if that's the one I want to do. Um, or maybe I'll just take on a regular podcast um, that's probably at a much higher level than I need to be at, but I think just being exposed to the language more and more is gonna help me even if it's at an advanced language. And if I can focus on picking up, you know, five, 10, 20, 30, 50% of it, um, I think that'll be better than nothing. And the last bit is video. So uh, this is probably gonna come mostly out of YouTube. So I'm gonna find as many different YouTube channels uh, as possible to practice or just watching um, videos and learning through videos as well. So trying to hit it from four different angles and then at the same time, I've got a couple different apps that I'm probably gonna be using to help me and I think the first and the main one that I'm gonna be using is Babbel. So with Babbel, um, if, again, if you haven't seen my Babbel video, you should check it out, but Babbel's been my favorite tool and the one I've been using probably the most consistent in the last two years to learn the bulk of my German. 
Um, I think it's a great tool. I have it on my phone as well as on my desktop, but I prefer the online version on my laptop. Like, and it, I just find it to be a bit more comprehensive and, and easier to use, and I learn uh, more when I listen through there. So I'll be using Babbel, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning of Babbel, because I did complete all six beginner courses and the two intermediate, but it's been a long time since I've reviewed a lot of it. So I think I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning and complete every single module that there is from all the beginner uh, courses as well as the intermediate and in-depth courses. And I think hopefully that should get me caught up to about a B1 level, um, in the, and then I can you know obviously add on top of that, but I think that'll be a good... Um, starting point and foundation to help me build my basics again and get that foundation right. Um, I do recall some of it, maybe most of it, but not all of it for sure, so I'm going to use this as an opportunity to go right back through it. The second app I'm going to use is the Anki app, uh, so that is the flashcard app. Um, I think this one will be great, especially when I'm commuting. Um, it's easy because I can use it offline and just keeps my mind fresh uh, with vocabulary that I've seen before and that I, a lot of that I haven't seen before and I'm using decks that are like the top thousand or top two thousand most commonly used uh, German words which I think is a great tool. Uh, the next tools I'm going to use are, I'm calling this like one tool but it's really two, um, it's WhatsApp and Skype so again I mentioned I have family and a German buddy that I'd like to message uh, uh, and, and Skype with so I'm going to use Skype and WhatsApp. I'm hoping to be able to use Skype so that I can have video calls with my family or my German buddy on a weekly basis and in the past I've done it where I've been able to use you know 5, 10, 15 minutes of the calls to speak only German. I'm hoping to get back into that again and actually do much more than that and see how much more German I can use in these conversations. I think that's going to be really helpful and they can always provide me with more localized um, ways of saying things because they live in Germany obviously. Um, whereas when I learn it I might be learning um, I guess Hochdeutsch so higher German but not necessarily what's spoken day to day. So I think it's nice to have that mix from them as well. Uh, the other two apps I'm probably going to be using are the Zeitungen app. So this app on my iPhone is actually perfect for getting me access to a bunch of different German news outlets. So uh, I think Der Spiegel is one of them, and I forgot what the other ones are, but those, I'm going to use that app to help me read German newspapers on a day-to-day. -day. Again, exposing myself to things that are probably at a much higher level than where I'm at. Um, but I think that's a great way to just for me to start recognizing words and, and putting things together. A lot of it I found... Uh, from my experience is pattern recognition. So when I look back two years ago before I even started German and I was in Germany, there was a lot that just, you know, was thrown around and I'd read, I would read it, I would hear it, but I would have no idea what it is. And fast forward to today, after acquiring, you know, a good foundation of German through, you know, a variety of different sources, I'm able to recognize a lot more. And, you know, I don't know 100% of what the article might be saying, but I can get a gist of it um, pretty, uh, pretty well. So I'm hoping to continue to do that. And then the last app I may or may not use is the Memrise app. Um, this one is kind of just in my back pocket as if I have, if I'm kind of bored or, or exhausted with some of the other apps, I think this one's a little fun one to switch to whenever I get a chance to do so. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, I want to keep it short and sweet, so more of just an announcement letting you know that I am gonna tackle this B2 exam um, at the Gotha Institute um, in Toronto in January. I forgot the exact date, I think it's like the 21st or so, something like that, I will confirm that later. Um, but just wanted to let you know that I am gonna tackle it, which means I'm gonna have a strict routine and I'm gonna do my best to continue to, to learn and study um, as much as I can until I get to that exam and hopefully by the time I get there I'm ready and I'm comfortable and I can pass that exam but if not it's all a learning experience and what that means is I'm going to be able to document a lot more of my actual day-to-day -day studying um, every day because I do have to do a little bit every single day even if it's just 30 minutes I plan on studying 30 minutes at least every single day and I'll go over more in detail of what I'm actually doing so I mentioned a few tools that I'm using and but I'll actually be able to go and deconstruct what I'm actually doing uh, in the next few weeks and months um, as I get closer and closer to the date for the exam. So I will see you guys in the next video.